there's a lot of debate and conjecture about why tuition has been uh, rising faster than inflation and certainly rising faster than uh, household income. And the reality is, um, if you look at the biggest driver behind those rising tuition costs, it is public disinvestment. The reality is we are at a 26 year low today in terms of what we spend on higher education. It's really a big retrenchment of state appropriations. And it began happening you know, somewhere in the 1990s, accelerated with each recession, but the big steep increases in tuition have really happened in the last decade. Today, the average grad is leaving with $26,000 in student loan debt. Now, if you think about that, that's uh, a pretty big burden to saddle a 21, 22 year old with before they even get their first quote unquote real job in the labor market. If you look at who is taking out debt to pay for college and how much they're taking out, low income students and African Americans are much more likely to take out debt to pay for college and to take out higher amounts. Now, all indications are that that debt burden is really preventing people from being able to do things we need them to do to get this economy back on track. We need them to buy their first house. We need them to be able to buy a car. We need them to purchase things in the economy. And so it's a real drag on our overall economy. One of the challenges we face is due to the enormous decline in the availability of good jobs for people that don't have college degrees is huge demand and anxiety about going to college and going to the best college that will give you any kind of toehold into the middle class. What that means is we have parents, we have students who are willing to take on all of this debt to try and give themselves the best chance of getting ahead. And so what happens is more and more students take on more and more debt and the increasing share of revenue that colleges receive is coming from students themselves instead of society as a whole through our taxes. And the American people continually say that college is an important priority, that it's important for our nation, it's important for our families, it's important for our kids. But when you look at some of the budget decisions happening in the states, particularly in the wake of the recession and the need to cut back, you can look and find that while many states are still passing new corporate tax cuts, just like in New Jersey, they're cutting higher ed appropriations at pretty much the exact same amount. So while states are constrained, within that constrained pie of resources, there are lots of decisions that could be made to better ensure that we're putting our resources in things that really are public goods, that help us all get ahead, that help us all live in the kind of society we want.